Hello everyone, you are about to watch co-designer for Star Wars X-Wing, Alex Davey and I play an escalation game of Star Wars X-Wing. This, this is, is where you get mad over time. Yeah, escalates. You just, the, the you just get game. more this frustrated. Is a, this is a format included in the core set of the second edition of Star Wars X-Wing that basically gives you the feel of a full game of X-Wing with only the components of a core set, which is a really cool add to the core it's set. Re it's honestly a great format. Kidding aside, which I didn't even get you to screw up what you were planning to say, it's an awesome You're format. You're close. It's basically you have a, a singular core set that you can get a full kind of X-Wing style experience out of essentially three ships. Which is nuts, two TIE Fighters and an X-Wing. That is pretty awesome. You can also catch our full learning series on the website if you're not already there. It includes a What is X-Wing video and a lot more content for learning about this game. So check that out and we'll catch you there. Hello everyone and welcome to our core set escalation game of Star Wars X-Wing 2nd Edition. This is a really cool new format that is included in the 2nd Edition core set and it's a great intro to playing with the core set and this is all core set components. I am joined by one of the co-designers of Star Wars X-Wing 2nd Edition, Alex Davey. And go ahead Alex, tell me what is the core set escalation format and how do we win? Yeah, this is just one of the ways that you can use your core set content. It's a really fun one. Uh, Essentially, we have our initial squads here. You've got a pair of uh, pilots fresh out of the academy. I've got a blue squadron escort here. Uh, and so this is all of the ships that you get in the core set. But when either of us has one of our ships destroyed, uh, we get to, to hyperspace in some reinforcements. So um, if I destroy one of your TIE, TIE fighters, um, the next level ship will get to uh, come in here at your reinforcement point number two. I'm the first player, so my reinforcements will uh, come in from hyperspace at point number one. And the way that's going to work is we've got these quick build cards here. And the quick build cards are a great way to start playing the game right out of the box. You don't have to uh, add up any points values. It, it tells you pretty much uh, everything you need right on the card. Uh, those Academy pilots are a threat level of one. Uh, that's this little uh, series of lines here. My Blue Squadron Escort is a threat level of two. Uh, if you lose one of your TIE Fighters, you get to reinforce your army with a uh, threat level two. If I lose this X-Wing, I get to reinforce it with a threat level of three. So as the game progresses, our forces will get deadlier. Very cool. And this is a, you know, the, the quick, you mentioned the quick builds, which I think is a great way to just immediately get the game out of the box and start playing with just a single core set, which is something that wasn't in the first edition. Um, and then we'll be also playing a full scale game uh, that you can watch if you're interested in seeing how that goes. Uh, but this will be a really interesting challenge and a new format to kind of check out. So uh, with that said, are you ready, ready to dive in? Oh, I was born ready. <laughs> Let's do it then. All right. So, uh, you know, I'm going to walk through as we're going and kind of explain what we're doing on these first couple of turns. Um, we're going to be setting the dials for each of our ships, um, so let's do that now. Let me think about this. It's a big decision. Big turn. The <laughs> opening gambit. <laughs> As you can see, I'm way ahead of you. That's right. It's the years of professional experience for you. Well, <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> All right, so we set our dials, and we're going to start with the lowest pilot skill on the board gets to move first. I have two academy pilots at one, which means I get to choose. Uh, which true. of these ships get to move? I'll go ahead and move the one in the front. He's going to take a two left turn, or reveal my dial. So I'll hold my ship down, put my template in, move my ship, and then I get my standard action. Uh, let me look at my actions really quick. I'm going to go ahead and take a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. All right, I'm going to line up the line in the middle of my template with the middle of my ship, mm -hmm. move my TIE fighter uh, to the other side, and I'll go ahead and choose to leave him completely aligned in the middle All right. Like and then move my other TIE Fighter. He is also uh, going to take a two left turn, a little formation flying here. And as you might have predicted, he is going to take a barrel roll. Very good. I love watching all these TIE Fighters just like fly in unison. Gets me real, real jazz. All right, so those are my ones, and now it's your action. All right. We got another turn, but watch out for that debris. We're gonna try to sneak between these obstacles here. Of course, overlapping the obstacles with a template is bad news. You overlap a debris field, you get a stress token, possible damage. But we are uh, no no rookie? stranger. We're no <laughs> rookie here, so we're gonna thread that needle like that. All right, that's close. And then all that barrel rolling looked like a really good idea. So I'm going to use my action to do the same thing. Try to kind of come in at an angle here. 
and I'm going to fall back. It looks like I can't fall back because I would overlap that debris field. So I'm just going to let, uh, I'm going to line up my hash mark with that forward position there. And you can't barrel roll onto a debris or an asteroid, correct? That is correct, yep. So these obstacles on the play area restrict your movement. They change the tactics of the game. Uh, they keep it exciting and, and unpredictable. Cool. Okay, so we've moved. Now we move to the, uh, it's not called the attack phase anymore. You're going to have to correct me on this. Yeah, the engagement phase. The engagement yes. phase. The, the phase formerly known as the combat phase. That's right. So yeah. we start with the highest pilot skill, which is currently a two, and you'll check range to see yeah, if you can so, shoot someone. So uh, nothing is in range yet, but it will be soon. Um, so there are no shots this round, but it looks like... The fight is not far away. Okay, so no one's in arc, and just to kind of clarify the arc, if you're wondering, you see that the front of these ships, they have a, mine have green, yours has a red uh, section. That is your firing arc, and you have a range template here from one to three, and anything inside of this range right here is something that I could potentially shoot at. So no shots, we'll go right back to dials. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get into the thick of the action, I'm certain. I have no doubt. All right, now before we get into this, uh, an important thing I want to note is uh, currently I have two Academy pilots unmarked, which means they would be impossible to tell the difference, right? How could we, you possibly tell I the know. Difference? We have stat cards down here, but again, they're unmarked. So I'm going to go ahead and use these ID tokens, um, and I'm going to slot them into the base of these ships. And that is going to let me know that this Academy pilot is number one. So you want me to kill him first? Is that what you're saying? That's basically what and that And then means, move yeah. on to destroy So then I'm two. also going to take a one token, and I'm going to put it on that TIE Fighter card so that we can correlate the damage and whatnot. And I'll also take a two and do the same thing. And, uh, you know, that'll keep things clean and clear, which is preferable. Try not to bump around too much. All right. So those are placed. Very and, good. Uh, then we'll go back to dials and see what we got. All right, so we'll rinse and repeat. Start with the lowest pilot skill. I'll choose to move uh, my number two academy pilot first. He's taking a two right bank. Mm. So there he comes. Place him here. And he will simply take a focus action, uh, assuming there's going to be some engagement happening here. My other academy pilot, going to reveal his dial. He's actually doing a two forward, and I might be at risk of doing... A bump. Even bump spell? Maybe. Might be. Bumping ain't easy. Oh. All right, so he's going to bump, and this is actually a, a really good thing to show. So when a ship can't complete its maneuver, um, it's effectively going to go as far into that maneuver as it can, and you'll see the line on the template down the middle of it and the line down the middle of the ship. So I'm going to line that up, and he's going to go all the way into the point where he would bump into his friend, his other Academy pilot, uh, and then I'll remove the template, and that is where he'll stay. When you bump... You do not get to take your action That's for right. the turn. All right, so those are my academy pilots. Blue Squadron Escort. Doing a nice gentle bank. <laughs> gentle bank. To the right. Nothing too fancy. Nothing Gonna be some too, shots this round. Nothing too crazy. And I will target lock the unfocused Pilot. Academy he clearly pilot. needs yeah. to go back to flight school. That's right. So you can see you have the five on the bottom of your X-Wing. You have the five target lock shows up. Mm -hmm. And that's how you signify there. So now it's time to, to throw some dice. That's right. Your pilot skill, too, gets his choice. This is true. So what range are we at here? So we're going to examine our status here. It looks like range three. Okay. And so when you're measuring range, can you measure to any ship? Uh, yeah, so when, when I am the active ship in the engagement phase, I can I can do all of my measurement before deciding my target. I see that both of these targets are at range 3, and I'm going to choose to fire on the one that has uh, weaker defenses and the one that I have my target lock on. Okay, um, so range 3 means that I get a defense bonus, mm -hmm. um, which we'll get to in a second, so I'll let you attack first. I'll let you yeah, do I'll, a defense die, some, some the goodness of my heart, and pew pew! Oh, wow. Pretty strong showing for me. There's fire in them dice. I hit crit <laughs> out of the gate. Okay, so my uh, defensive stat is three, mm -hmm. and I'm at range three, so I get to add one, uh, and I'll roll and hope for some paint. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, man. Wow, this we is, got a dramatic opening here as a TIE is fighter is blasted out of the sky right away. <laughs> so this is all blanks, uh, which means <laughs> I take a little, I take a hit, hit, crit. So I'll take my damage deck, and this is number one. Uh, so he takes a regular damage, a regular damage, and then a crit is going to be dealt face up. Uh, and because I'm going to get blown from the sky, uh, <laughs> what the crit does doesn't exactly matter. So the target lock will go away. My ship will literally come off the board. Wow. Um, and one quick note there, if it had been the same pilot skill as your ship, I still would have been able to shoot, uh, even though I was Yes. Uh, unfortunately, you are slightly lower pilot skill, so that means that my shots obliterate you before you even have a chance to fire back. Now, what happens in escalation when I lose a ship? Well, the good news is uh, you've got reinforcements on the way. When you lose a ship, you check out that quick build card that you have there. you got a All couple right. of them. You get to choose uh, who you want to bring back in. And is that right so, now? Uh, yeah, well, we'll, well, once we finish the combat phase, because you do have a, a couple shots coming at me from that other academy, uh, you have this hyperspace point number two as the second player. You will roll a red die, and uh, that will determine where that ship is placed at the end of the round. Okay. And then you'll set a dial for it as normal. So, so we'll, we'll get to that reinforcement phase after we wrap up this engagement. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my academy pilot. I'm going to measure range. And when you're measuring, one thing, too, is that you're measuring from the edge of the base inside of your arc. Yep. Um, so closest it looks, point to it looks closest like, point. Uh, yeah, close point to close point. It looks like you're going to be range three. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll hope to return some, some fire here. So I'll my, take that defense dive back. Oh, Hopefully no. it'll perform a little better for me than it did for you. I'm sure it will. <laughs> uh, so I get to roll two attack dice. Yep. Uh, go ahead and roll. Got two like hits. Two hits. Ah, these defense dice are just not coming through so hot. Uh, so I will uh, block one of those hits with my evade result. But okay. Blank blank means I'm going to lose a shield. So I'll flip my shield over to the red side to denote that I have taken a little bit of damage. But all things considered, an excellent trade for me. <laughs> one shield for a TIE fighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So end of round. Um, typically going to lose all our green tokens off mm -hmm. the board and whatnot. Target locks would stay. Yep. Um, and then I get to reinforce, right? That's right. So I'll roll a red attack die. Yep. I want to hit is what I and want. And you've chosen uh, Iden Versio to bring in, right? That's right. Got a hit. Oh, you got a hit? Okay, that's, that's a exactly good what position. I wanted. Now let me, f I got a, this is my uh, academy pilot. I'm going to switch out his base uh, with an Iden Versio. Very nice. Iden has a higher pilot, or has a higher initiative, has a pilot ability, is going to be much more of a threat. Gets to shoot first, gets to barrel roll after me, so I'm going to have uh, more trouble dealing with this reinforcement TIE fighter. And I'm going to mark her with another number one. Very good. All right, so I'm going to bring her in, and now she actually introduces uh, even more things to this because she has upgrade cards. So our base ships, or at least mine, didn't have anything. Uh, Aiden is going to have a shield upgrade, which just gives her a shield token. Um, and she's also going to have outmaneuver. So when I'm performing primary attacks, if I'm not in the defender's firing arc, you roll one less defense die. Which is bad news for my X-Wing. That is good news for the old Empire. Uh, so I rolled a hit, so I get to put on my hyperspace and then I'm player two. Mm -hmm. So the second player, just going to come right there out of hyperspace. I didn't oh, know TIE right. fighters could travel through hyperspace. Well, I assume a Gazanti dropped it off. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Gazanti, though? That's where the real juice is. All right. Available. Um, yeah, available here. <laughs> um, okay, so ship's out, and now we're going to go back to dials? Yep, back to dials. You have a new ship, so you'll just set a, dial, a TIE fighter dial for that ship as normal. And I will attempt to... Run. Once again, deal with two enemy fighters. Very cool. I really like how uh, this lets you basically, with two TIE fighters and a single X-Wing, uh, get a lot of use out of just even a single core set. That's, that's really Yeah, clever. we wanted to really showcase all the different options that are available and, and try to make more of an engaging starter experience. These TIE fighters are not slow. They're not slow and they're not durable. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, so we're going to start with the lowest pilot skill again, my TIE uh, Academy pilot. He's taking a three left turn. Uh-oh. Told you it was fancy. Mm. I'm going to see if I can... This is where the guessing game comes in. And I think what makes this game so much fun is you have to predict what my X-Wing is doing before you see what it does. And that adds a lot of strategy to things. Sure, like even right there. So what I was thinking is, I don't know what you've done. Mm -hmm. And you'll, we'll see in a second. But I could have taken just like a one turn here mm -hmm. um, or just gone forward. And then if you kind of like bank into me, 
Um, you can shoot me, you might get a ranged one shot. I have a feeling that with Aiden over here, she's kind of a higher priority target. Yep. And her ability means you're gonna want to be in, have her in firing arc so you're not losing your defense die. So I have a feeling That's you're gonna true. come this way. Mm -hmm. And just like the bump earlier cost me an action, I'm hoping that I can potentially make you bump and cost you the action into my ship. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a focus token and uh, let's see if you turn towards Aiden. At worst, if you turn far enough and don't bump, I'll also have a shot on you but not have one in reverse on my TIE Fighters. So That's let's see what true. You I can't fault your logic, but I can debut oh, no. the 2.0 X-Wing's new capability. I was going to say, I have no idea what this dial does. Which includes a Talon roll oh, on the no. left. That's the worst. So That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I have some bad news for you. Oh, uh, could it go worse? So the Talon roll is a really fun maneuver because not only is it a turn, it's also a 90 degree reposition. So uh, just like with a turn maneuver, I am going to place this template in between my nubs, but instead of ending up like this, I get to turn my ship around. And so it's sort of like a barrel roll at the end of this maneuver with a 90 degree turn. Now I'm not gonna have a shot this round, but I am going to hopefully be able to be in a good position for future turns. And I'm gonna escape this uh, particular TIE Fighters arc. Yep. So I'm going to do my Talon roll, and then because I might still get shot by Iden Versio, I have a choice here. Do I raise my defenses and try to survive, or do I set myself up for the next round? So I have a stress token here. Okay, because the maneuver is red. Yep, so that that's another thing to go in, into. It's a, it's a stressful maneuver, which means it is slightly harder to uh, pull off and what that means is that until I do a blue maneuver I am not going to be able to clear that stress which means you can't take actions like focus. exactly So I have a stress token, so I actually don't get an action um, So I will simply have to ride out this turn and hope it doesn't go poorly for me Okay, see I thought that was gonna go worse because for some reason I thought the talent roll would end up positioning you behind me and towards me I was kind of hoping that you wouldn't do such a hard turn because again This is this goes into the planning phase. I was predicting more of a bank and if you'd done more of a bank, I might have been able to get you in, in arc, or if you'd gone straight, but uh, such as X-Wing. That is how it goes. All right, so Aiden, uh, she's just going to take a two forward here. Um, which this is, actually might turn out just fine for you. Yeah, it's going to be better than hoped, things. honestly. Um, and then she is going to, let me just read her ability real quick. Uh, before a friendly tie, LN fighter at range 0 to 1 would suffer one or more damage. I can spend her charge. Um, to prevent that damage, and she cannot recharge the charge, so that's going to be a once a once a game thing. That is correct. Um, so she's just going to go ahead and take a focus token uh, mm -hmm. and see if we can lay on the pain. So uh, we'll, again, we'll start with the highest pilot skill, which is now Aiden. Um, she gets two attack dice. Mm -hmm. Remember, I have uh, outmaneuver, so when I perform an attack, if you're not in the defender's firing arc, the defender rolls one fewer defense die, mm -hmm. so that's going to reduce yours by one. Yes. So I have an agility of two, it's two defense dice. We're at range three. That's three defense dice. However, outmaneuver, back down to two. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll my attack dice here. Mm -hmm. Two hits, very mean, and I have no defense tokens. So I'm gonna get blanks. Ah, uh, yes. So I lose my last shield, and I take a damage card. I only have three hull remaining on this particular. And fire. now, to be clear, so, in this version of the Escalation game that we're playing, once I lose both my TIE Fighters, I'm out. You actually have to lose three TIE Fighters. Ooh, excellent. Uh, but you have to destroy two X-Wings. So, but if I lose these two, you win the game. Yep. So that's a total of three. Exactly. And if I destroy your X-Wing, you're going to get to put another X-Wing out here, and mm -hmm. then I'll have to destroy another X-Wing. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's a, it's a, a lot uh, you know, more robust of an experience than just the two ships versus one ship. You've sure. got these different waves of, of fighters coming in. You've got a chance. Like, you had a really rough first turn, <laughs> but now you're in pretty good position because actually the way things are set up, Aiden's got a good chance to just keep, keep hounding me. Sure. And I have, uh, you know, I have fewer options than I might otherwise have, so. Very cool. So, uh, going to the end phase here, I'm gonna clear off all the green tokens. Mm -hmm. um, the red stress will actually stay. It will, It stays around. Uh, and then we'll go back to dials. So, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and look at what we got here. So, gonna get, uh, start again here with my academy pilot. Um, he's gonna reveal a dial that I toss. Uh, it's a 4K turn, so okay. I'm gonna take my four template, and this is cool to show. Um, and so, it's kinda like a standard maneuver, except for uh, when I get to the end of it, I actually flip my ship completely around. That's right. And sort of like your talent roll. This is a stressful maneuver. Uh, so I will gain a stress and I will not get to take another action. Mm -hmm. And then it will be 
your uh, blue squadron escort's turn. All right, well, I'm going to try to slip Aiden's net here. So I am going to spend another turn trying to get away. Um, oh, man, he's running for the setting hills. Setting myself up for the future, but this may or may not work out for me. So I'm going to do this two bank. It's a blue maneuver, which means I get to, to clear this stress, which is nice for me. And then I can do an action. So one thing I could do is I could uh, I could target lock Iden to try to set myself up for the future. I could take a focus token to try to help my defenses. Um, I'm kind of just going to concentrate on offense, I think. I'm gonna, okay, so when you're checking a target lock, you have to measure range, right? That's right. So it's range 1 to 3, so I'm going to try to target lock, but it looks like I'm actually going to fail this target lock by a small margin. So unfortunately what that means, in second edition, when you attempt to do an action and you fail, you simply lose the opportunity to do that action. It was what? a little bit more hardcore than it was in first edition. I thought I had that lock. I turned on my targeting computer. Computer Didn't work. Was like no such luck, buddy. All right, and uh, wow. so I lose my opportunity. So, so you are uh, certainly recovering from that. I was going to say, turn. There's hope for the empire. There is hope yet. for the empire. I'm going to go ahead and move Aiden. She's just going to do another two forward. Yep, solid uh, plan. Taking it easy here, and uh, let's see. Now it's important to note that the Tie Fighters do not have target locks, as far as I know. That is correct. All right, uh, and she will go ahead and just focus again. And uh, my outmaneuver is going to hopefully pay off yet again. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Except for this time, let's check range, because you might not even get the range 3 bonus. Probably not. Range 2. So only going to be rolling one defense die. Mm -hmm. I'll roll my 2 real quick. And I have a hit and a focus. Yep. I will go ahead and spin my focus token, and that lets me turn all of my focus sides to hits. Ouch. So we got two hits. Ugh. So I'm going to take two more damage cards, unfortunately. How many hold do they have? Just got one left. Oh, man, they have four. I Excellent. know, I know. It's a whole new world. Okay, uh, and I'll go ahead and check range with my academy pilot. I think he's out. That was the one, uh, the one silver lining to that particular round. <laughs> and uh, again, we'll keep going. Keep going. So we'll clear out. No green tokens to remove. Stress is going to stay on my academy pilot. Back to dials. And we're going to go back to the dials. All right. All right, so my academy pilot's first. Yep. Um, he's going to flip, and he's taking a two blue bank, which mm -hmm. means he's going to get rid of that stress and hopefully not bump into his captain. All right. No bumps. Very nice, very Take nice. Take an action. We'll go ahead and focus. If only I could target lock. Mm -hmm. And now your two, uh, two initiative. That's right. I am going to do a four choreograph. Oh, turn. man. Here he goes. So this is a nice, simple turnaround maneuver. I Not even turning. I can't Th afford to let Aiden keep shooting me out of arcs, so I'm just going to flip myself around and hope it is enough to keep me in this game. All right. And so you're stressed. Mm -hmm. No actions. Aiden's going to go ahead and move here. Um, she is also doing a bank. And that's going to be a wise move to not let me keep shooting you at minus one agility. Yes, I need uh, to survive. She will. You'll actually be getting to shoot her this round. Um, assuming, assuming you don't. Get assuming defeated, I survive. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and focus mm -hmm. and take my shot. Now let's check the range really quick. Looks like range three to me, mm -hmm. and it is. So I'll roll two. Outmaneuver not going to trigger. Thankfully. All right. So we got a crit and a focus. Oh, man, tough choices, tough <laughs> choices. I really would like to see that X-Wing off the board. So I'm going to go ahead and focus. I think that's the right play. Uh, but if you successfully evade here, I'm going to be scared for my life again because, as we saw earlier, you can one-shot a TIE Fighter. Come on, defense dice. Blanks. Oh, nobody yes. home. So my yes. X-Wing is thoroughly destroyed. I am terrified of whatever pilot going is going to, to come out here. I'm going to take a hit. And a crit. And so even though this is past your hole, you're going to take as many damage as you took, right? Yes. Yep. So even though you uh, are destroyed, you continue dealing the cards to see what they would have been. But the good news is Luke Skywalker, hero of the Rebellion, oh boy. is back once again. Can you give me a quick uh, rundown? So this is the... the Easy build out cards, right? The quick builds. Yeah, these are the quick builds. So, uh, yep, in escalation format, I take a peek at my quick build cards here, and I can summon a couple different reinforcements. I can either bring in Jack Porkins, uh, who's got a bunch of sweet upgrade cards, or I can bring in Luke Skywalker, who's a little bit more powerful, but has uh, doesn't have quite as many uh, excellent upgrade cards and on so him. What is the quick build version of Luke? What does he have? Uh, 
He is rocking Instinctive Aim, which is going to let him fire off his proton torpedoes uh, using force points rather than target locks. He's got R2-D2 to hopefully keep him in this fight for a while. And he's got servo motor S-foils, which is the really fun X-wing configuration that lets you... Um, it lets you boost and uh, linked boost uh, focus into boost. So when you have your S foils closed, here's which, another which nice can happen. first ed or second edition trick. Check that out. Mm. The model actually opens and closes. Uh, you have a little bit more maneuverability, but your attack power suffers. And then when you want to come in for the kill, you lock those S foils in attack position. Excellent. Very cool. So I am going to get out my cards here. And I remove this poor destroyed Blue Squadron Escort. Something tells me Luke's going to be hard to pin down. Luke may give you a little bit more trouble than that guy did. So we're going to start uh, with closed desk foils here. So you get to, to choose. Give myself a little bit of versatility. Yeah, when a ship is deployed, you get to choose whether you want them open or closed. And then before I activate them, I can flip them around. Very cool. So I'm going to have my instinctive aim. I'm going to have my proton torpedoes. I'm going to have my trusty astromech R2-D2. I want to try to get back in this fight before it's too late. So, the critical question, where's Luke going to come in? That's right. Blank. Ooh. So that's actually not necessarily the greatest place for me. So this I is was your... kind of hoping for a hit. But here's my hyperspace reinforcement token. And I am going to come in right here and have the ability to set my, set my dial. Gotcha. Now that happens at the end of the round, so we skipped it. But I'm going to lose my focus token. I won't get a shoot because that, that, that's already passed. And Luke's on the board. That's right. All right. Well, ready to dance? Ready. All right. Ready and Luke's at pilot skill five, so he's going to get a move after mm -hmm. everything. All right. I have my dial set, and I am ready As whenever you are. So I'll start again with the academy pilot. Uh, taking a two bank and crossing my fingers that he's not bumping, but I have a bad feeling about this. And he is going to bump, uh -oh. so I'm going to take the handy dandy line in the middle of the template, take yep. the ship as far as it can go, and it is going to land right there. Not get an action, uh, but hopefully be in a position where it's going to be able to actually shoot at Luke. Uh, now, Aiden is now the second pilot skill uh, or right. initiative on the, on the list, so she's going to take a one turn. Uh, classic TIE fighter maneuver. Yep. And uh, how fancy do I want to get? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take a barrel roll. Well, uh, your, fan your fancy pants maneuver paid off for you last time. You got that academy out from underneath yeah, my sights. Yeah, I'm just curious. You know, it's like, I th I, are you going to K-turn? <laughs> are you going to bank? Are you bank? Good questions. Yeah, are you going to... You could do a lot of stuff here. I'm just going to... Trying to Very good. wiggle out over here. Line it up at the middle, and then line the notch up at the bottom of the template, and see where that gets us. Bingo, bango. All right, Luke Skywalker. Well, I was trying to do some fancy stuff, and it didn't pay off for me, so I decided let's just be direct. Luke's not scared of an Academy pilot. He's just going to three-turn. Oh, that's going to gonna hurt. Left. Okay, so, so I'm going to take my one template here, and I'm going to mark my ship. Actually, you know you what? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> that's 1.0 thinking. <laughs> that's check, <great>. out, <laughs> check out this fancy new ship marker. All right, so I'm going to use my ship marker here, and I'm actually going to mark the corner of this uh, of Iden. Perfect. And she gets to come off the board, and I'm just going to hold this down while you make your maneuver. So and I will place my template here. Put it in those nubs. Come out like so. That's going to hurt. Now. All right, so I'm going to place my ship back down. I could try to get fancy. Whoops. <laughs> I could try to get fancy here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I could try to barrel roll, set myself up for future turns, but you know what? You're just going to go Luke's for it. Luke's not scared. He's just going to go for it. He's well, going to the... target lock, and he's going to trust in the force. To keep him. Oh, yeah, forget about the force. This is going to hurt. <laughs> now, I, I find myself woefully short of attack dice, Zach. I, oh, that's I a bummer. Use, I could use so a So you just don't one. get to roll them, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a the fourth one. So, yeah, so we're in the engagement phase. I check range. It's range one, right up in your grill. I've got an attack value of three. I add a die for range one. The so four we dice. Roll them. We roll them bones. All right. All right. Three so hits. I got hit, hit, hit. But I'm not satisfied. I'm going to spend this target lock. And how does the target lock work? So yeah, so a target lock lets you reroll any number of dice. So that can be um, 
On offense. Uh, on offense, yep. So, so uh, I'm going to keep my hits because I like them. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to reroll this. Well, so now I have a choice here. The nice thing about target locks is they persist. They will remain in play from round to round. So there is certainly some merit to hanging on to this target lock, particularly because I have the ability to uh, fire off proton torpedoes with target locks in the future. But I'm going to just go for the kill. I'm feeling lucky. I'm going to reroll this die. All right. Got to focus. The nice thing about being a force user <laughs> is I have these two force points. Mm. And I can spend them to change focuses into hits. So one force point equals one focus change to a hit, or even an evade on defense. That's right. So we got four hits coming in. All right. So if I roll only one evade, because I, I don't have focus, I don't have an evade token or anything. If I only roll one evade, this is going to be another TIE fighter who gets one-shotted by an X-Wing. Let's see what we got. That's right. I need at least two here. I'm hoping for three. Not feeling great about it. Oh, one, one thing I forgot to mention and yep. forgot to do, I got lost in the proceedings. Oh. At the start of my activation, I would have to flip my S-foils into attack position. Now, is this before any of our ships move? This would have been at Luke's activation. So I would have gotten to see the situation. I would have gotten to decide, okay, I want to, instead of having the opportunity to boost this round, I'm gonna open up those S-foils, lock them in attack position, and uh, roll that extra die. So we'll pretend that I'm better at this game and that I uh, did that before I executed sure. my maneuver. All right, so locked in foils. I'm gonna go ahead and roll my agility <laughs> here, see what we get. And, uh, oh. oh! Brutal, so that bump really cost you. It, it cost me a ship again, that, two bumps. Look at that, That's, uh, uh, so that would have been a, uh, one damage and you would have been still flying. But yeah, I would have been uh, able to return fire here. So what happens is uh, three focus, no focus token. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna take four damage yep. um, and I'm gonna go ahead and deal the cards here. And then after the four damage, my ship gets removed from the board. And uh, you know, no, she wasn't within range. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, I saw, so not to, that's the other thing, but Iden. Iden has an incredibly powerful ability. If she's able to stay in formation with her wingmate, she can prevent them from these truly nasty hits. She can pull that iron out of the fire. Now we'll see if I can defy the impossible Well, odds. now you get another reinforcement. Oh. I just knocked down TIE Fighter number two. You get to summon in uh, reinforcements once again. What level of reinforcement? Well, I destroyed a threat level of one, so you get to bring in threat level two. Oh boy. And can I, if I want, could I choose two academy pilots? You could. Uh, I don't have two in the course now, yet, so we won't do that. If, if we want to simulate that, we certainly have extra TIE fighters available, but if we want to keep this a core set game, you would just level up that TIE fighter to the next Yeah, let's just level. do that. Um, I'm going to get Valen Rudor with Elusive and a Shield upgrade. Oh, very nice. So now I have two more elite TIEs to deal with. It's the end of the round, uh, so I Maybe. will recover one force charge. Okay. You will summon up your reinforcement. Do some uh, tidying up here. Mm -hmm. Gonna switch into Valen Rudor, which is where my uh, hyperspace land stayed. Um, and he is, he's got the shield upgrade, so I have a shield. And just so we're clear, Elusive uh, has a charge, and whenever I uh, defend, I can spend a charge to reroll a defense die. After I fully execute a rev maneuver, I can recover that charge. Um, and he's going to have a pilot skill of three. I'm going to mark him with the two because mm -hmm. of my TIE fighter's gone. End of round. I'll roll an attack die to see where he's going to pop out of here. I don't even know what I want. Hopefully, a, I guess a hit, maybe. Blank. Facing the wrong way, buddy. <laughs> All right. So he comes in there, and mm -hmm. this will now go away. So now we're in a, a death match. That's right. Last one standing wins. I thought that was way worse than it, it was. <laughs> uh, it's not great, but Yes, I just uh, we'll need to destroy it. one more TIE fighter to pull this one off, and you have to bring down Luke, which is a bit of a tall order. <laughs> he seems hard to, to deal with. All right, we're going to go back beast. to Dials. He is a beast. All right, Vale and Rudor are going to take a one turn. Very nice. Um, right towards this debris. Uh, but then he is going to barrel roll, mm -hmm. trying to position for this next round. So line it up in the middle, and I'll line the back up with the template again. Very good. So I don't run into that debris. And then Aiden, she is going to take a turn as well towards Luke. And because I need to get back in the game here, I'm going to check a barrel roll. New rules might prevent me from doing something. It looks like you may not have room. 
Oh, I definitely. Oh no, you're good. You're in business. Very All right, nice. barrel roll there, and then Very we'll nice. see if I can keep Luke in arc. All right. Well, Luke's gonna try being slippery this round. It's direct. So, is this action. where you decide the S foils? Yes. Yeah, so I could, if I wished, uh, flip my S foils into the closed position uh, if I wanted to gain the benefits of uh, boost. But I think I'm gonna keep it locked in attack position. We want to do some shooting, so we're gonna leave our S foils alone. I flip my dial over. We're doing a talon roll to the right. Yikes. So. It's like you knew what I was gonna do. I need to concentrate on Iden Versio. I need to keep out of Valen Rudor's arcs. So I'm gonna get my talon roll to the right here. I get to line that up. I'm gonna try to leave myself enough room to maneuver next round so that I don't necessarily hit that uh, asteroid. Um, and we are going to end up like so. All right. So, Positions, and that's a stressful maneuver. So you'll that take is a stressful stress. maneuver, uh, but I think it was worth it because I believe I'm going to be able to dodge both of those firing arcs. Not good. Not and good, Empire. Luke Skywalker has instinctive aim, which says while you perform a special attack, like a proton torpedo attack, I can spend a force charge to ignore the focus or target lock requirement. Normally, proton torpedoes require a target lock, but Luke's gonna turn off his targeting computer, listen to old Ben, <laughs> launch a proton torpedo at This you. is no bueno. So, first I spend my force charge. All right. And then I spend a charge for my proton torpedoes. And is that both force charges, or you regained one? I regained one at the end of the round, so I still have one remaining. And then I have four dice from my proton torpedo here. Seems all right. I gotta check range. This has gotta be uh, beyond range one, and it is. So I got you where I want you. Here comes four attack dice. All right, well, I got a hit and a focus and two blanks. So it's not as nasty as it could have been. All right. But I'm gonna spend my last force charge to change this focus into a hit. And then I'm gonna use the special ability of proton torpedoes to change one of these hit results into a crit result. Oh man. All right, so I get my standard uh, three mm -hmm. defense dice here. I'll roll and hope for at least one. You got nothing. Now, the good news the is the good news is Iden Versio, if she wishes, can spend her once per game ability to completely cancel this attack. Oh take wow! Take no damage. So it's any friendly, including myself, including herself. Yeah. Or I can take a hit crit. Now I have a shield because of my shield upgrade. You do have a shield. But the way but the that the crit will come through. Yeah. So the first the damage that goes to shields first is regular, and you exactly. save the crits for last. So I would take a crit. And who knows what's sitting at the top of this damage deck? Who knows? Um, do you want? Do you want to know? <laughs> well, it's not lethal though, so I could save my. You could save it for the kill shot, absolutely. You could try to roll with this crit and, and hope for the best. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and spend my charge. So I'm going to spend the charge, okay. uh, and I'm just going to cancel it. Attack canceled. Yep, not having it. Man, the She's a survivor. City. Yeah, that is crazy. All right, and so I'll check my arcs really quick just in case. But I do believe you uh, throw the needle. No devil. attacks for me. Mm -hmm. We'll go back to dials, and I'll hope for slightly better in the next round. Now, I'm not in a great place because I'm restricted to blue maneuvers if I want to clear that stress. So I'm going to recover one force charge. That force, man. It's no and what, what, what are Luke's blue maneuvers, if I may ask? <laughs> you may ask. Now, I can quite easily show you the dial here, which is very handy. A new feature. Uh, he's got a lot more than he did in first edition, I can tell you that much. He's got six of them, but they're pretty much restricted to straights and banks mm. and, Seems... and lower speed maneuvers. And this is where the uh, the asteroids and debris play a pretty pivotal role because absolutely, if you look at his maneuvers, he doesn't have a turn that's blue. So if he right. wants to take a blue ac blue maneuver, he's going to probably have to go this direction, mm -hmm. which kind of clues me into where he might be headed. Yeah, my I think that was a a good maneuver to pull because I avoided fire and I got to to burn Iden's token, but it does leave me in a much less comfortable position this round. Sure. All right, my dials are set. We'll see what Luke does this time. And I've got that outmaneuver to consider, which is trouble. And, you know, part of this is with a force user like Luke, getting away from the engagement and letting your force recharge mm -hmm. um, could be a pretty pretty nice exchange here. So, Yeah, definitely could be worse. All right. What do you, what do you got? You ready? It's set. Final? Final answer? Final answer. All right. We'll start with my three. Valen over here. He's going to be taking a three turn yep. to see if we can get in a place where I might actually get to attack. Oh man, and he could focus, but I have a feeling Luke's gonna get squirrely. Why don't they have a boost? <laughs> uh, yeah, he'll, uh, 
Because they're cheap. That's right. He'll just focus. I don't think he's going to be able to get in range. All and right. Aiden here, she's going to take a uh, one right turn and see. Uh, see if she clips that rock or not. I don't think so. I think he'll be all right. Based on my X-Wing math. But I think Luke might get out of my arc here. Uh, she'll also take a focus. Mm. It'll be your maneuver, well, Mr. Davy. I tried to get fancy. Oh, it man. Didn't, didn't get paid off for me. Doing a two-turn to the right. Oh, man. So we will see. This is going to be a close one. I think I'm going to hold my ship and see if you can clear. Oh, yeah. Can't there's no clear. way. So the one, one nice thing about second edition is that when you resolve these collisions, that's what the center line is for. So as you can see, I can't place the ship down. And when that, what happens when you, when you can't place your ship at the end of the maneuver, you have to back that maneuver up. And you leave these, uh, you line these hash marks up and you pull your mini back until it's just touching Whatever that it's running front. into, yeah. So we're basically gonna end up womp. All right, and so- And I'm still stressed, because I did not clear my stress. This turned out, I tried to get sneaky. I tried to fly through. I should have done a three turn in <laughs> retrospect. Uh, and what that means is you're going to get a shot on me, and I'm going to get no shots in return. That's right, because when ships are bumping, they actually can't shoot at each other unless they yep. have an ability that does something like that. So Valen, no shots with I, no shots with Luke. Valen going to get a shoot. Looks like a range three. Now this is where Luke's ability comes into play. I am going to recover a force charge when I become the defender. So my force powers are at the ready to protect me from just such a situation. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to attack two dice here. Uh, looks like we got a hit and a, a blank. There's a blank. Oh, it's a blank. All right. I wish it was a crit. And I'm going to get that one evade result that I needed to not take any damage there. So it could have been worse. All right, yeah, you Certainly just basically gained worse. a force back. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened there. All right, end of round, we'll clear the green tokens. The stress will stay. Yep. And we'll go back to dials. It's going to be really hard for me to pin you down. It's a slippery one. You ready? Mm-hmm. Valen first, he's going to take a three right turn. Very good. Oops. And let's see. Do I think Luke is going to get fancy? Green, all right, I'm just going to focus. And hope Keep you, it simple. Hope, yeah, that's right. Uh, and then Aiden here, she's going to do a 3K turn. Oh, very nice. So this is one of those flip maneuvers again. You can either mark or I can. Get, I think you yeah, can we'll probably resolve this yeah, one we'll get close. So I'm going to line it up. She's going to go to the other side and flip around. Very good. There, and that'll be stressful. Barely avoiding that uh, debris back there. But stressful, and it'll be Luke. All right. So, I'll reveal my dial. I kept it simple this round, possibly to my detriment. Do <laughs> one bang, but it's blue, so I'll clear my stress. So we're going to see where that takes me. I'm going to leave my S-foils uh, in their attack position rather than flipping those around, and I'm gonna end up right here. That seems Clear my stress. Seems good. Well, I don't have a shot on you, and you have shots on me, so I think we need to rectify that. <laughs> that's a little barrel crucial. roll action here? Yeah, we're gonna do a barrel roll. We're gonna barrel roll to the left. Try to get out of that firing arc, because I don't think I can fit to the right. Ah, be dicey. So now here's where the second edition actions come into play again, because in first edition you could barrel roll to the right, if it didn't work out, you could choose something else. In second edition you really have to commit to things. So if I try to barrel roll to the right and I fail, not only do I not get to complete that barrel roll, but I also don't get to perform any other action. I don't want that to happen. That would be I know really I can barrel roll you. to the left. I think this barrel roll to the left will take me out of arc. So that is what we are going to do, and we're going to hope for the best here. May even put an obstacle between me and Aiden, although I don't think so. So we are going to barrel roll as far to the left as we can. This smells like a comeback. That's it might be. It might be. All right. Doesn't look like I was able to escape, unfortunately. I keep thinking that uh, I am fancier than I am. So no shots for me. Bring it on. All right. So Luke can't shoot. It'll be my turn. Mm -hmm. We'll go with Aiden. Measure closest point to closest point. There is nothing obstructing. There's no asteroid debris. But you are at range three. Mm -hmm. um, also, you are in my arc, but I'm not in your arc. So you'll get your yeah, minus one. Yes, so I would one. have three dice. It goes down to two. And I only get two. Mm -hmm. And I need hits. Mm -hmm. Hit, hit. Looks like we got two hits. 
Luke's coming through. Now his force is going to come into play again, save me some damage, but I'm going to take a shield. Okay. And then, you know, every time I basically attack him, he gains one of his force back, right? Yes. Is That's that something... what makes Luke so incredibly vo uh, uh, durable. And, and is that something you can do as many times as you want in a turn? Uh, it just says after you become the defender, so it doesn't say once per round, it's not charge based. So yeah, every single time he gets shot at, the force comes through for him. Yikes. All right, we're gonna go with Valen here. Uh, looks like range two. At least I was able to barrel roll out of range one. Yeah, that I'll would... give the barrel roll credit for something. If you tried to barrel roll the other direction and missed, that would have been... That would have been very bad indeed. Very bad. All right, so I'm gonna roll two. Yep. Looks one like hit. one hit. And I got two evades. Oh, man. All right, so end of round, we're going to clean up st my stress on Iden stays. Yep. My focus on Veiling goes, and we are back to dials. Back to dials. Except for Luke has a damage, although he's got that pesky R2 unit. Yep. He is a, he is a very, very formidable foe. I'm on the hunt. You ready? Ready. All right, Veiling going to go first. He's going to do a 3K turn. Very nice. Hoping I'll bump into this turret. Looks like you're OK. All right, he'll take a stress for that because mm -hmm. it is a stressful maneuver. And then Aiden is going to do a three bank. Not going to clear her stress, but I'm going to get her into the action. All right. Put that down. Mm -hmm. And it's Luke's turn. All right, Luke's going to do a 4K. Oh, man. I'll, I'll get that for you. And I'll just get as close as I can. Yeah. I'll that is bad like that. news for it's me. A good spot for him to be. You out 4K'd me. Mm -hmm. Ouch. <laughs> this is Leaving bad news. Leaving those attack position as foils in place. As you might imagine. Taking a stress token. And nice throw. <laughs> Bam. Here it comes. Oh. Uh, thanks to the power of the force, this is going to hurt. I'm going to spend both of my force charges to turn those into hits. So we got four hits coming in on poor Vale and Rudor. All right, now I only get three dice. That's right. Oh, you blocked right. two. So, so I block you two. are alive. And I also have oh, a fancy a dance. Oh, and elusive. Elusive. Very nice, very nice. Uh, so I can spend my charge to reroll a defense dice. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I'll do that and see what we get. Got it. Wow, so only one damage goes through. All right, very so nice, I Mr. lose Rudor. my shield. Yep. But he is shield not. Shield flips over to its. That's right, it doesn't even go away. Side. He's not feeling great. No, but you do get a shot with Aiden. That's right. So it looks like range two, mm. maybe range three. We'll see what we get to here. Range two. Range two. And I am in Luke's arc, so you will not lose a die. Thanks to Luke's ridiculously strong pilot ability, I'm going to recover a force charge. That's right. Looks like a hit and a focus. All right. And the force keeps me in it. In fact, I don't even need to spend my force. You just I'm don't. Just gonna you just dodge ride it. it out. That's right. All right. Back to dials. We'll see if you can hunt old Valen down here. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready? Yep. Valen's going to go too forward. It's blue, so he'll <laughs> drop the stress. All right. And then he will focus. Mm -hmm. Hope to roll some agility here. Aiden is going to go uh, to left bank, which also clears her stress. And uh, we will see. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, we'll see where this works out. So lose the stress, and she will actually go ahead and take a focus token. All right. It's Luke's turn. All right. I am going to flip my S foils to their closed position. All right, I'll go ahead and get that for you. And then I'm going to do my one bank. All right, let's see where that puts old Luke. Pretty good for me. Then I am going to use my newly minted S foils. I am going to focus. I'm going to use my linked action mm. to boost straight forward. And now, if you boost and you couldn't boost, I would simply fail. And would you and still lose, gain the stress from I would, the action? I would get action? my focus token, but I would fail the action. I wouldn't get the stress because the action was never completed, but mm. I would lose the opportunity. So I'm going to boost forward. There's not going to be any shots this round, but I am going to evade your fire and take a stress token. All right. And now we're back at it. Back mm -hmm. to the dials. I was feeling really uh, nervous about that round. <laughs> Could have gone poorly. All right, you ready? Ready. Valen, going to do a one turn and a focus in a second, I think. And he 
he will focus. And then Aiden is going to do the classic 3K turn. Good old 3K. That's right. And she will just flip right around and get a stress. And it's all you. All right. Well, I'm going to flip my S foils into attack position, although I don't think I'm going to be getting a shot this turn. That's what I like to hear. Put the nose up. And I tried to do a two turn to the right, but I look pretty stymied by Mr. Rudor. So I'm pretty sure that's not going to clear. All right. So I'll hold the ship down. We're going to follow those around. Looks like I'm going to bump right there. I'm going to stay right. stressed. Let me focus one away. And I'm going to be in some trouble here. All right. Aiden is the only one looks like she has a shot. Mm -hmm. Range three on Luke, of course, minus one for my ability, minus, plus one for the range bonus. Rolling two, no tokens. One crit. Crit comes through, got a blank, and the force keeps me alive. All right. Using the force, gaining the evade. And uh, rinse and repeat back to the dials. Mm -hmm. I uh, feel like Luke's about to actually get in on the action. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Valen Rudor, 3K. Very nice. And we'll see how fancy you got. Man, it's been a while since I've flown just straight up TIE Fighters. This I know, is right? Great. <laughs> uh, and then Iden Verso, 3 forward, going to clear the stress and get a focus token. Okay. All you, Mr. Davey. All right. Well, I am going to reveal a one straight here. Clear my stress. I like this. And I'm going to pick up a target lock for Feeling bold. next round. We're going to try to bring down Versio. Try to finish it. Mm -hmm. All right. So Luke doesn't have a shot. That's correct. Aiden's going to get a shot. She has you at range two. Mm -hmm. You're also in my arc. Not I'm not in yours. You're going to be minus one. Uh, she rolls two dice. Uh -huh. So let's let's dance. <laughs> Looks like a focus. focus. I'm going to go ahead. You, you aren't going to be able to attack me. I'll spin my focus. Might as well. Turn it to a hit. I got a blank. So I'm going to lose a shield. I'm going to take a damage card. There's hope. Just three hull left. All right, Valen. Looks like he's got you at range two as well. Mm -hmm. No tokens. No ability to reduce your defense dice. One hit. Two dice. And we got that evade. Paint for days. Rolling Any, hot. Did you uh, recover your force? Uh, I did. Excellent. And we are back to dials. All right. This Luke is a big turn. To bring down a TIE fighter here. All right, I'm just going to go for it. All right. Gumption. Ready? Yep. Two bank. Probably going to bump. Right. Position to where I want. Maybe not. Maybe not, actually. I think you're going to be in business. I think you can even get closer here. Yeah. No, that's a slight bump. Ah, uh, slight bump. Bummer. That is a bummer. Focus token could be critical here. All right. And then Aiden is also going to take a two bank. Mm -hmm. And if I double bump, that'll be a professional maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she might be OK. Yeah. Yeah, she'll be all right. All right. And she will focus. All right. We're just going to face you down. Time. Guns are blazing. You do have the force though, so it's not the really force fair. The force is no joke. It isn't fair. You got a Jedi on your six. Supposed to be a pilot, not a wizard. Take my stress, and we are going to fire our last proton torpedo. We're going to use the force to fire it. Spend my last charge to do so. <sighs> Come on, this Ben could, Kenobi. This could hurt. All right, we got a hit. All right. And an eyeball. I'm going to use my last force point to change that eyeball to a hit. Now you have a target lock too, right? And I'm going to spend my target lock. Oh. So we're going to turn it into four. And I'm going to use my proton torpedo to turn one into a crit. So that was my last All right, turbo so attack. But hopefully we can take you down. Three here. Yep. Need a couple of A's to survive. All hey, right. We got, got one. focus token. Now. I have a shield, mm -hmm. so technically this would be a take my shield, take a damage, take a crit. True. And there are crits that do two damage. This is also true. Um, so burn through her salvation ability. How much health does Luke have left here? He's got three health left. <sighs> Tough decision time. <laughs> do I just Either way, I'm taking the crit. That's true. Um, so I'm not going to spend my focus token. I want to live dangerously here. Live dangerously. Uh, right. So I'm going to cancel one of your hits. Yep. 
Then I'm going to take a hit on my shield, yep. flip it over. Then I'm going to take a regular damage. Yep. And then I'm going to take a crit and hope that it's not... Living dangerously. A double damage. Blinded pilot. Okay. While I perform an attack, oh, no. I can modify my dice only by spending force for the default effect. I can also spend an action to repair this card. So unfortunately, you won't get the use of that focus token after all. <laughs> Sad news. All right, Aiden has to shoot first. Range yep. to it, Luke. Two dice. Just got to go natural. One hit. All right. And you're at minus. No, you're in arc, so you get it. All right, I got a blank. I got a focus. Thanks to Luke, I can spend that focus to stay alive. All right. Valen. Valen. He's going to get a... Uh, what is his pilot ability? Oh, I, f I missed it. After a friendly ship at range, one to zero defense. After damage resolved, if any, I can perform an action. Oh, well, there you go. You could focus up uh, Valen. All right, let's point. do it. I'm just going to go ahead and trigger that. Focus. Range two on Luke. Mm -hmm. Roll blanks. All right, it two hurts. hits. Didn't even need to focus. Blank, oh, blank. blanks. Luke is one hull away from defeat. Ah, this is so much closer than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's super tough, but if you get focused fire on him, he's still just agility too. All right, and he's, he's on red oh, here. Oh, that is. So end of round, I'm going to lose my focus. You'll gain your force with Luke, mm. of course. And you've got one hull left on Aiden? One. Oh, man. But I, I'm stressed. You are stressed. It ain't okay. Easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Mm, this is a great game. Yeah, this is. Uh, I, was, I thought I was sitting pretty with Luke, but that round turned things around. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yes. Ready. Valen <laughs> is doing a two left bank. Yep. Let's see if we can get a little. Okay. Bump action going. Mm -hmm. and he's just gonna focus because I don't want to. I don't want to lose the game on a bad roll again. I know, right? Aiden here doing a three K turn. Ooh. Yep. Yep, you're going to fit. Nicely done. Just barely. She'll get stressed. Okay, we'll see if I can get out of this. First of all... Because your S-foils are in attack gonna, position currently. Yes, so a couple of things are going to happen. Oh boy. Before I activate, I'm going to close those S-foils. Yep. Bink. Then... I'm going to reveal my dial. Too right. straight. After I reveal my dial, I can spend a charge on R2-D2, recover one of my shields, and take the weapons disabled token. So I won't be able to shoot this turn. Is that this? That's the one. All right. But I wasn't going to be able to hit you anyway, probably. Yep, see so you two forward. So actually, I could have had a shot on Valen, but he's still pretty healthy. Yep. Same. And so I think it's much more important for me to not die that seems like a pretty good directive. And I also closed I my... I think you actually did this thing. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're good. Yes. And uh, I closed my S-foils, which is going to be important because I do not want to be at range one. That so would now be you can extra boost. bad. That's really handy. It is handy. So you have one shield and one health here. <laughs> yeah. I can technically make this happen. This could happen right here. So I'm going to boost, hopefully get outside of range one. Yeah, definitely. Now, I did not focus because I don't want to be stressed for next turn. I really need to get back turned around. So I'm just going to be relying on the force to get me through this. All right. So Bring it on. Here we go. Did I get out of range one? I yep. did. That I is range two. That is so big. You're going to be at minus one. Just have one die. And I only have a lonely two. This could happen right here. <laughs> it's so unlikely. <laughs> I'm going to recover my force. All right. We got one hit. Oh, thank you, R2-D2. The real Back hero down of the rebellion. Down, right? Back down to one. Man. Ooh, All close right. game. Close, close game. <laughs> Clear off all the greens. And yep. uh, here we and weapons disabled goes away, right? Weapon disabled is cleared at the end of the round. So basically all, all the round negative, tokens. Are yeah, all the round tokens are cleared, color coded and shape coded. That's for right. your convenience. Thank you. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Valen just doing a Classic now, 3K turn. It is a classic. It's, it's just great. An American classic. That's right. <laughs> An imperial it's classic. There it is, there it is. Uh, 3K, taking a stress, and then yep. Aiden here doing a two left bank and hoping I don't bump your X Wing. You look like you'll be all right. All right, and that's going to let her take a focus. Mm -hmm. But she is, well, actually, do I want to get rid of that? No, I'm just going to take a focus because I don't want to lose. 
<laughs> Go ahead, Luke. One last fancy pants dance. Another All right. talon roll. Yikes. All right, Luke gets to flip around. And if I am doing this right, hopefully you are in my arc and I am not in yours. We'll see yeah, what happens. That would be to your benefit. And I take a stress token. All right. And, and now, could uh, you have used R2 gonna, again there? So I could have used R2, but that would cost me a shot. But I am going to open up my S-foils mm, that's right, that's at the right. start of the round so that I get to gotcha. so full attack R2's dice. shield recovery also now gives you the weapon disabled token. I yes. got it. Yes. So I'm living dangerously. I am desperately hoping that my shot can down Aiden before her shot can hit me if, in fact, she has a shot. So that's right. start of the combat phase. We're going to check that out. All right. Uh, that's an uh, I am going to... Do you need a stress? It's an ion token. Yeah, here's my stress token. I'm going to measure range. Range two. Range two shot. Here comes three dice, backed by the power of the force. One hit, one focus. I'm going to use the force to turn that into a hit. All right, so I have three dice. That's right. And I have one health left, so I need at least two sides showing that paint because I have a focus right. token. Ah, uh, they've been blanking a lot today. <laughs> Now why'd you go and say, oh, oh, look at that. Came right through. Just natural evades. Now we'll see how fancy my flying was. I think you're definitely out here. Oh, look at Just that. threading the needle. Okay. All right, and Valen I need to is, make some I damage think, out happen, of range though. here. I mean, you're so close to winning at mm. every turn. Mm -hmm. Lose my focus, and we'll go back to dials. I'm, oh, feeling, I'm feeling really good here, Alex. I'm going to be honest. You're in a pretty good spot at the moment. I'm stressed. You are. It's not rough. easy being Luke. Bring it on. All right, Valen Rudor, we're gonna do a three blue forward. It takes me a minute to get used to the blueness. Mm -hmm. uh, and he will fit, he'll clear his stress, mm -hmm. and then he will take a focus token. Okay. Then Aiden is taking a one turn. Let's see how, how bold you are. Gonna make it, if your turn, I'm gonna, she's gonna take a, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to take the action to repair my blinded pilot. So it's just an action on the damage card, oh, and I flip nice. it face down. I have a feeling that she's not going to get a shoot here, one way or another. That's a good bet. We'll see. I'm going to reveal my dial. What is it? Uh, now, my S files are open. It's where mm -hmm. I want them to be. I'm going to bank, to the left. Oh, now, man. I just revealed my dial. I think this is going to get me out of Aiden, and I don't want to lose my shot on Valen, so I'm just going to let it ride. It's a blue maneuver. I'll clear my stress, but I'm going to fly right through this debris field. Very cool. We'll see. Man, this I is, almost barrel rolled right there, too. This is risky. Oh, that would have been terrible for me. <laughs> but I do dodge Aiden's arc. Okay, so what happens when you hit this debris? Well, my friend, I take a stress. All right. And... And then I hope I don't roll a crit. So on the debris particularly, there's asteroids and there's debris. On the yep. debris, when you roll, you only take anything if you roll a crit, and if you do, you take the crit. And you only have one health left, so this would be the end of Luke. Wouldn't this be anticlimactic? <laughs> no crit. Like, woo, we're in it. And I can feel we're my heart it. starting to beat. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. So what I need to do is I need to drop Valen before he drops me. That's right. So, so here it comes. Range one. Range one shot. Four mm. dice. Yikes. Power the force. All right, I got hit. Crit, and I'm going to spend a force point to make that right. hit hit crit. So Valen gets three dice here. Yep. And I have a focus, and I have three total hole. So mm -hmm. something's got to come through. All right. So uh, it looks like crit goes through. Two are dodged. We'll see what the crit is. Uh, increase the difficulty of my turn maneuvers. So that won't hurt you too bad this damaged round. Damaged engine. Now I get to return the favor here. Yep. I'm going to recover my force charge. That's right. And I get and range one. So dice. can I borrow one of those uh, reds? You can. And, and I don't know if it's applicable, but uh, Valen would get to perform a uh, action after he defends. I don't think anything you've got is all that important. But you could barrel roll if you wanted to. I'm good. I'm I good. Figured. So if I spent the focus on... Uh, I guess. On the, yes, if you had spent the focus on defense, you could get it right back. Because you can, you can take multiple of the same action in turn. Oh no, because you would have focused already, so yeah, you, yeah. you couldn't, okay. couldn't All right. refocus. So range one, uh, I need to do one more hit than you have yes. showing a raid. You get what, two dice here? Uh, just two. I like my eyes. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, Luke. Oh, no. All right, hit. Oh, I can't even do it. Hit. Not even the force can save and me. And a focus. So I'm going to go ahead and focus into a hit. Yep. And that, and my friends, is going to be the game. Good game, Thank man. you so that much. That was close. That was awesome. Very well played. Very fun format. Straight out of the core box. You can play it with just a single core. Um, and if you're interested in seeing a full-on game of X-Wing, we'll be doing that next. So stay tuned. And until next time, keep playing. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or any of our other X-Wing videos, those are literally made possible by orders from our store. So all second edition products are there. They're shipping for free and we have faction specific subscriptions where we'll send you all of your favorite faction ships as soon as they release. And be sure to head over to the blog where we have all of the information you can possibly want about X-Wing second edition all in one place and we'll catch you on the next video.